ओम शांति दिस इज द साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू बिकम गॉड्स हेल्पर्स लाइक द फादर द फादर कम्स एट द कॉन्फ्लुएंस एज टू सर्व यू चिल्ड्रन क्वेश्चन हाउ इज दिस मोस्ट ऑस्पीसियस कॉन्फ्लुएंस एज the most beautiful and benevolent age answer it is only at this time did you children both men and women become most elevated this confluence age is the middle period between the end of the iron age and the beginning of the golden age it is only at this time that the father opens this godly university for you children where you change from human beings into deities such a university doesn't exist at any other time throughout the whole cycle it is only at this time that everyone receives salvation om shanti the spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children while sitting here you first remember the father because he is the purifier your aim is to become pure and satu pradhan by remembering him your aim is not just to reach the satu stage you have to become satu pradhan and this is why you also definitely have to remember the father then you also remember your sweet home because you have to go there then you also need prosperity there and this is why you also have to remember the land of heaven because you have that attainment you children know that you have become the children of the father you take teachings from the father and will then go to heaven number wise according to your efforts all the rest of the living souls will go to the land of peace everyone definitely has to return home you children also know that this is now the kingdom of ravan in comparison to this the golden age is given the name the kingdom of rama there is then a decline of 2 degrees one is called the sun dynasty and the other is called the moon dynasty just as there is just one dynasty of the christians so this to it just one dynasty however there are the sun dynasty and the moon dynasty in this these things are not mentioned in any of the scriptures the father sits here and explains to you and this is called knowledge once heaven has been established there is no need for this knowledge you children are taught this knowledge at only the most auspicious confluence age it should definitely be written at your centers and at the museums in big writings brothers and sisters this is the most auspicious confluence age which only comes once they don't understand the meaning of the most auspicious confluence age and so you also have to write this is the confluence age when the end of the iron age and the beginning of the golden age meet so the confluence age is the most beautiful and benevolent age the father says i only come at the most auspicious confluence age so the meaning of the confluence age is also explained to you the end of the brothel and the beginning of the temple of seva bracket sevalaya is called the most auspicious confluence age here all are vicious whereas there all are wiseless so surely those who are wiseless are said to be the highest both men and women become the highest therefore their name is the most auspicious their name is the most elevated human beings brackets purushottam no one except you children and the father knows that this is the confluence age it doesn't enter anyone's intellect when it is the most auspicious confluence age the father has now come he is the seed of the human world tree 
he is praised so much he is the ocean of knowledge the ocean of bliss and the purifier he grants everyone salvation with this knowledge you would never say that salvation is received by performing devotion salvation is only in the golden age that takes that takes place through knowledge so he would surely come at the confluence of the end of the iron age and the beginning of the golden age the father explains and makes everything very clear new ones come just as they have also come every cycle and will continue to come the kingdom has to be established in this way you children know that you are the true helpers of god he would not teach just one person one studies and you then study with that one and then you teach others and this is why this big university has to be opened here throughout the whole world neither is there another such university nor does anyone in the world know that there can be such a thing as godly university you children now know that the god of the gita seva comes and opens this university he makes you into the masters of the new world deities the souls that have become tamo pradhan have to become sato pradhan again at this time at this time all are tamo pradhan although some kumars kumaris and sanyasis do remain pure nowadays there isn't that purity souls who come down remain pure at first they then become impure you know that everyone has to pass through the stages of sato pradhan sato rajo and tamo at the end everyone becomes tamo pradhan the father now sits here and personally explains to you this tree has reached its tamo pradhan state of total decay it has become old and so it definitely has to be destroyed this is a tree of the variety of religions which is why it is called an unlimited variety play the tree is so big and unlimited those are non living trees that emerge when you sow seeds this is a variety picture of the variety of religions all are human beings but there is a great deal of variety amongst them this is why they speak of the unlimited variety play only you know how all the religions come number wise everyone has to go back and then come down this drama is predestined it is the wonderful drama the wonder is that such a tiny soul that is the supreme soul has such a big part recorded in him the supreme plus soul is called god brackets param plus atma you call him baba because he is the supreme father of all souls you children know that it is the souls that play their whole parts human beings don't know this they say the soul is immune to the effect of action in fact those words are wrong you should write in big writings souls are not immune to the effect of action each soul receives the fruit of whatever good or bad actions he has performed souls become impure with impure sanskars and this is why they go in front of the deity idols and sing their praise you now know about your 84 births no other human beings know this when you tell or show them the proof of their 84 births they ask are all these scriptures false they have heard that human beings go into 8.4 million species the father now sits here and explains to you that in fact it is only the gita that is the jewel of all these scriptures the father is now teaching us the raj yoga that he taught us 5000 years ago you know that we were pure and that we belong to the pure household religion that would not be called a religion now people have become irreligious status they have become vicious you children now understand this play this is an unlimited drama that continues to repeat every 5000 years no one could understand anything of hundreds of thousands of years this is a matter of just yesterday when you were in the temple of shiva bracket shivalaya 
and today when you are in the brothel tomorrow you will be in the temple of shiva again the golden age is called shivalaya or heaven and the silver age is said to be semi you will stay there for so many years you have to take rebirth this is called the kingdom of ravan you became impure for half a cycle the father now says while living at home become as pure as a lotus kumars and kumaris are pure anyway it is explained to them you must not get involved in a household where where you would then have to make effort to become pure again god speaks become pure you have to listen to the unlimited father you can live as purely as a lotus while living at home with your families since the father is saving you from becoming impure for 21 births why do you instill in your children the habit of becoming impure you also have to renounce the opinions of your families and of society this is an unlimited matter there are many bachelors in all religions but it is a little difficult to live with safety because they are still living in the kingdom of ravan abroad too many people don't get married and they then get married in their old days for companionship they do not get married with criminal eyes there are many such people in the world he is looked after very well and when he dies he leaves something to that person brackets companion and gives some of it to charity they set up a trust before they go they also have big trust abroad which then help here there are no trust here brackets in india that would help countries abroad here people are poor and so how could they help there they have a lot of money bharat is poor look at the condition of the people of bharat bharat was crowned and that was a matter of only yesterday they themselves say that 3000 years ago there was paradise only the father creates that you know how the father comes down here from up above in order to purify the impure he is the ocean of knowledge the purifier and the bestower of salvation for all that is he is the one who purifies everyone you children know that everyone sings my praise i come here into this impure world to purify you you become pure and so you first of all go to the pure world you experience a lot of happiness and you then fall into the kingdom of ravan all the people saying that the supreme father the supreme soul is the ocean of knowledge the ocean of peace and the purifier none of them knows when he comes to make you pure the father says you praise me i have now come and i am giving you my introduction i come every 5000 years at this most auspicious confluence age i also explain to you how i come there are the pictures too brahma doesn't exist in the subtle vision brahma is here and brahmins are also here he is called the great great grandfather and there is his genealogical tree the genealogical tree of the human world would only start with prajapita brahma he is prajapita brackets father of people and so there must definitely be his people too they cannot be a physical creation of his and so they must surely be adopted he is the great great grandfather and so he must surely have adopted everyone all of you children are adopted you have now become brahmins and you then have to become deities to change from sudras into brahmins and brahmins into deities is to perform a somersault there is also the variety form image everyone definitely has to come here from there when everyone has come down the creator then also comes he is the creator and the director and he also acts the father says o oh souls you know me all of you souls are my children you first adopted bodies in the golden age and played such good parts of happiness then while taking 84 births you came into so much sorrow there are creators directors and producers of dramas this drama is unlimited no one knows this unlimited drama they so such things on the path of devotion that they have become fixed in the intellects of people the father now says sweetest children all of those scriptures are of the path of devotion there is a lot of paraphernalia of the path of devotion just as the expansion of a seed is the tree 
such a huge tree spreads from such a tiny seed there is also so much expansion of devotion this knowledge is the seed and no other paraphernalia is needed for it the father says consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father there are no other bows or disciplines all of those come to an end once you have received salvation there is no need for anything else you have done a lot of devotion and so i have come to give you the fruit of that deities used to reside in shivalaya this is why people go to the temples and sing their praise the father now explains sweetest children i also explained to you 5000 years ago consider yourselves to be souls renounce all relationships of bodies and remember me your father and your sins will be burnt away in this fire of yoga whatever the father explains now he has explained that every cycle there are some good words in the gita to man mana bhav means remember me alone se baba says i have come here i also tell you whose body i enter i tell you the essence of all the vedas and scriptures through brahma people saw these images but they don't understand the meaning of them you now understand how se baba tells you the essence of all the scriptures through the body of brahma he also explains to you the secrets of the drama of 84 births i come at the end of this one's many births this one then becomes the number one prince and goes through 84 births acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to you spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dhyana number 1 whilst living in this kingdom of ravan let go of the codes of conduct of impure family clans and the opinions of society and accept the things that the unlimited father says whilst living at home with your family live like a lotus flower second understand this unlimited variety play very well souls play their parts in this and are not immune to the effect of action souls perform good and bad acts and receive the fruit of those understand the significance of this and perform elevated acts blessing may you make the father sanskars your original sanskars and have good wishes and pure feelings for all even now some children have various sanskars of feeling upset of stepping aside and of speaking and listening to others they say of them what can i do these are my sanskars this word my makes you slack in your efforts they are things that belongs that belong to ravan not to you in actual facts whatever the father sanskars are they are the original sanskars of brahmins those sanskars are of be- being a world benefactor and of having pure thoughts for others be one who has good wishes and pure feelings for all slogan those who have power are the ones who have a right to the treasure of all powers slogan those who have power are the ones who have a right to the treasure of all powers those who have power are the ones who have a right to the treasure of all powers om shanti